Back before Snapseed and Instagram, photographers and videographers use some lens filters, buy some expensive rigs, and use some fancy lights to add some snazzy effects to their shots. But these can cost you thousands of pesos. Fear not, you'll be happy if we say that we have solutions for you. Well, today we've got you covered because we have some awesome DIY photo and video tips and tricks that won't cost you much. In fact, most of these things are probably just lying around your house. So follow along with our roundup as we accentuate the analog and reimagine the digital. My name is Nigel Ian Laksamana and you are watching Digital Photographer. Video rigs and jibs are expensive. That's a fact. Price can range anywhere from 8,000 pesos to a whopping 250,000 pesos. For beginners and freelancers out there, we have a solution for you. And you only need your video tripod. The setup is very easy. Just use the two legs of your tripod, adjust the pan head or the ball head, and then move back and forth, simulating the jib or a crane. You can also use this technique for tracking shots, although practice is recommended. Artsy with this next trick. All you need is this one and this one. The following are the artsy filter tricks. For this trick, you need colored pens, a clear plastic, and some rubber bands. Cut the plastic according to the size of your lens. Make sure that the whole thread is covered. Next, color the plastic, of course, with your pens. Any color will do, but we prefer primary colors. Lastly, put the plastic in front of your lens with a rubber band. For this trick, you need an old UV filter, a petroleum jelly, or a hair conditioner. Making this filter is very easy. Just put petroleum jelly or hair conditioner to your lens and you're ready to go. Just make sure that you don't put too much. a digital photographer tip for you guys if you want a burst on your sun shots all you have to do is use the sunny 16 rule 
Sonic 16 rule is to use an aperture of f16 and if you say that you have an ISO 400 that's gonna be your shutter speed so if you want this kind of effect right here sunburst Sony 16 rule more tips and tricks to follow after these few messages digital photographer will be right back Earlier on Digital Photographer, we learned that a regular video tripod can make a makeshift crane or dolly. Also, a simple plastic and petroleum jelly can make a good artsy filter. Now let's continue with our next trick. Last episode, we taught you how to shoot bokelicious images. How about making custom bokeh shapes? Well, we know that this trick has been known for some old timers, but this still works as a charm. Now, to do a custom bokeh shape, all you have to do is to cut a black paper to the diameter of your lens. Make sure that the thread is all covered. And next, is to draw and cut a shape right in the middle. As simple as that. We're here to test our DIY creative filter for bokeh. So what we did is we stick on a tape on our lens and this will create a triangular blur comparing to just the regular circular blur so let's test it with our best model guides our editor Yup, you've seen it right. Even your mom or grandma's old stockings can be used for photography. All you have to do is cut the bottom part and some parts in the middle and snug it in front of your lens. Admit it or not, sometimes you get frustrated with the output of your camera's pop-up flash. For some reason, you can't get it right, especially when you're at a party. Well, here's a simple solution for you. Get a plastic spoon, of course the unused one, and use it as a diffuser. The names of my lovely family. You are? Boo Boy. Boo Boy. Boo Boy. And huh? James. James? Boo Boy, James, and? Jariel. Huh? Jariel. Jariel. James? Jariel and Boo Boy. Say hello. Okay. Hello. Now, this is what we're going to do the same technique, okay? 2.8 opening. All right. The farther I get away from the subject, the background is gonna stay sharp. The closer I get to the subject, the background is gonna blur, okay? So I'm gonna start now first far, and I'm not gonna get killed by the car, okay? Okay? 
Hello, guys. There you go. I like that. There we go. Now, the closer I'm going to get to you guys, you watch, huh? The closer I get, the more the background's going to blur. Okay? Guapo. Una guapo. Ah, so, so. Right? You're not smiling. You're not smiling. Huh? Huh? There we go. I don't know if you can see the bricks in the background. Let me just zoom in here. Let's see. This guy, Mr. Guapo here. Okay. The closer I get to you. Are you ready? You see that the background is blurred. The farther I get. The background is sharp. Smile, boys. There we go. One more time. High five. Don't change channel. Digital photographer resumes after this few messages. The bigger, the better. So far, we have done six cool photography tricks that you can do without even spending a lot. But we don't stop there. Here are some more cool tricks. For our next trip, just in case that you only have one light and your light happened to be as harsh as this light. So what do you do? The trick is to use the magic white cloth. Any white cloth will do. The bigger, the better. You want soft light? It's easy as one, two, three. Number one, throw it to your assistant. <laughs> Number two, let your assistant move in front of the light and the light will bounce to you. Let there be light. The white cloth simply serves as a reflector. It basically does two things. Absorbing the light, then bounces it back. Just in case you want to create a scene like this and you need some highlights, edge light, again, Three steps. Cloth, please. And place it on the table. And voila. Soft. It's harsh light. This is soft light. Harsh light. Soft light. Harsh light. Ring lights cost as much as a whopping 50,000 pesos for a piece. In today's generation, you can commonly see music videos being shot using a ring light. Well, save that 50,000 pesos and spend less than 500 bucks with this DIY ring light. Visit a local hardware shop and buy a circular fluorescent bulb. Make sure that it is the bare one. Also, don't forget to buy an electronic ballast. This ballast controls electricity so you can safely hold your DIY ring light. Total cost, 340 pesos. Now, you can use your ring light anytime you want, whether for music videos or for some beauty shots. The beauty of the makeshift ring light. My setting here is I'm at 1 over 200. F2.8, ISO 800. It's cheap, effective. The, the exhibit is about, uh, no, uh, it's called Second Earth, which is a, uh, a questioning what progress is all about, what have we sacrificed in the name of progress. So you can see the way that uh, the uh, Spaceman is the uh, symbolic metaphor on what progress is all about. So you can see that the intervention of progress, sometimes we sacrifice nature, we sacrifice an, over, um, an overpopulation or uh, destruction of all sorts of things. But at the same time, there's some positive aspect. But my question is, is it worth it? So in theory, parang, you know, do, we, do we create a balance in, in, in the name of progress, in, this, uh, in times of modernity, um, what are those aspects that we are losing? 
sometimes we lose the paradise that, that we used to know. Sometimes we use the uh, we, we lose the uh, the the, the uh, kind of the memories of good things because those are erased in, in intergenerational evolution. So I think that's that's what it's all about. So I photograph it in different countries, uh, in in the most polluted cities in the world, like in 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 Brazil, in. Um, uh, Argentina, in, in Israel, so, and really describing and defining the, this different kind of like aspects of what progress is all about and what have we sacrificed in the name of. How did you came up with this whole concept? I, I think it's my, my concern about uh, the environment and my, uh, my, my own common humanity and what what I wanted to see my, my future generation should uh, live on because I live in both worlds. I live in the world where I was grow, growing up here in the Philippines and I saw the beautiful things in the rural areas, the pastoral lands, the fishing villages and all these beautiful things and then uh, you know um, I thought I, I should give uh, um, you know pay homage to that and especially nowadays that all these things are radically being destroyed so um, you know so drastically and it's there's no one there's not so many people doing much about it so I think the responsibility is upon our individual as an artist I think it's my take on it and then if somebody kind of become aware with it then well and good and at least you know it would speak a language which is being repeated from one place to the other that's why I've chosen uh, 10 different countries to do it because we all share, you know, in every country, we all have the same kind of problems. We have progress that is going so fast, 1,000 miles per hour, and yet humanity is just still on 100 kilometers per hour. Digital photographer would like to thank Panasonic Video Philippines, Rode Microphones, Steady Tracker Incorporated, Francis M. Clothing Company. Earlier, we have demonstrated some cool DIY photography tricks that are easy and cheap. Let's review them one by one. First of all, we taught you how to simulate a dolly or a crane using only your video tripod. Use only two legs and simulate the movement of the crane. Very easy. Second, we have the artsy filter trick using only a clear plastic and some pens. All you have to do is to cut the plastic to the size of your lens, color it with the pens, and put it on your lens. Artsy fartsy. There's also the UV filter trick wherein you can create dreamy portraits by adding some petroleum jelly or some hair conditioner on it. We also shared how to create bokeh shapes of your own by cutting a piece of black paper according to the filter size of your lens, then again cutting your desired shape in the middle. This trick is best used at night. This episode, we also taught you how you can use some house materials like a pair of stockings that adds some hazy effects to your photos. A plastic spoon is also helpful on diffusing your pop-up flash to avoid that harsh throw of light straight into the faces. A simple white cloth can also make a difference on softening your harsh light. Just use it to bounce the light. 
Good thing about this cloth is the fact that it doesn't only bounce the light, but absorbs some of it as well. And of course, we will never forget the DIY ring light that only costs you less than 500 pesos. It's cheap, but effective. Now we don't discourage you to buy some premium photography stuff. First of all, they are built for the betterment of photography. But just in case that you are just starting, or you don't have that money to invest yet, we hope that these tips can help you to better your photography. This is Nigel Ian Laksamana, and you are watching Digital Photography. You know they say life is boring when you shoot just inside the house. I suggest go out and shoot. Catch the newest show, Digital Photographer, on Net25.